Hello and in this video, we are going to learn how to start page numbering from page 3 in a Word document. So usually when we are working with a long or complex or formal documents, then the first page could usually be the cover page and then the second page could be the executive summary or the table of contents and the main document could actually start from page 3 onward. When it comes to page numbering, we don't want anything to appear on the first or the second page. We want page numbering to start from the third page and we want it to start at 1. So how do we do that? Now there's one rule of thumb that you need to keep in mind when working with Word documents is that any type of page level formatting is applied for a section not for a page. Therefore, if we want to apply different formatting for different pages, we will need to put them in separate sections. Now, section breaks is something that we don't really enjoy doing because it's quite messy and it's troublesome, but it is there for a reason. You might be wondering, why don't Word allow us to apply a different type of formatting for a particular page? You know, page level formatting for each page but if you're working on a long document that has hundreds or even thousands of pages, imagine having to manually set up formatting for each page one by one. It will take ages. So that is why sections are there to facilitate the process. Okay, so now let's learn how to insert a section break. Now, if you want to put page one and two into one section and page three onwards to another section, then all we need to do is to go to the end of page two, which is where section one ends and section two is about to start. Now, click on that. Make sure that you put your mouse cursor there and press enter so that it starts at a new line. Then go to layout, go to breaks, uh, and in section breaks, select the first option, which is section breaks next page. Okay, let me just delete the blank page. All right, now let's double click the bottom of the page and this will activate the header and footer dialog box. Then go to page number, go to current position and just select the one you want. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, oh, but page numbers still start from page one and two. Now this is because whenever there are more than one section in a Word document, then the next section will take on the formatting of the previous section and this is set there by default, but we don't want that. So just click on this option and then turn off the link to previous. So we're telling Word that we don't want section two to take over the formatting from section one. Now again, go to section one Double click and just delete the page number. Now, when we come to section two, let me just enlarge this. You can see that page number will start at one and it will start from page three, which is exactly what we want. Whereas our page one and two will have nothing in it. Okay, so our problem is solved. So that's it for now. Happy learning and see you in the next video.